Hi there everyone and welcome to Tech Travers. For those of you who have been following my channel for a while, it should come as no surprise that I'm a fan of EmuDeck and the way it makes emulation available for everyone on Steam Deck. However, something that EmuDeck has not been able to make available for everyone is native gyro working in Wii U games. Games such as Breath of the Wild, Nintendo Land and many others rely on gyro to work to even be playable. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get native gyro working for Wii U games on your Steam Deck, no matter if you install the CMU emulator through EmuDeck or manually. Let's jump into it. First of all you want to hit the Steam button and click power and then switch to desktop mode. Open up your browser of choice and google search for Steam Deck Gyro DSU. Of course I'm gonna leave a link for it in the description of this video as well. Once here, we're gonna follow the few steps under the installation instructions. And we're going to download the binary package using terminal or console as it's named in Linux on our Steam Deck. However, to do this, we first have to set a super user password on our Steam Deck. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. If you have set a password for your Steam Deck already, you can skip this part and head to the next chapter in this video. Anyway, it's super easy. Open console on your Steam Deck, type passwd and you will be able to set a password straight away. It will look as though you're not typing anything, but once you click enter, it will say retype password and once you hit enter again, your super user password will be set. I'm using a wireless keyboard, but you can do this using the Steam Deck's virtual keyboard as well by clicking Steam button plus X. Now that we have set a super user password, it's time to download the binary package. Copy the command line by clicking the two squares to the right and open up console. Right click and paste the line. Click enter and the download and installation process will begin. If you haven't done this before, the installation will probably restart your Steam Deck into gaming mode. And if it does, just let it reboot and head back into desktop mode to finish the setup. And since I have done this before, it will just say that the installation is complete. Now close down console and this time Google search for Simu Hook. Simu Hook is a plugin that will enable the necessary settings in our Simu emulator. And once you're on the site, click on downloads to the left and download the latest version available. Once the download is complete, open up the zip archive with the files we need and locate your CMU installation folder on your Steam Deck. Since I have installed CMU through EmuDeck, the installation folder is located under my SD card, here named Primary, then under Emulation, ROMs and Wii U. Simply drag and drop the files from the zip archive into your CMU installation folder. Since I have had this plugin installed before, it prompted me that I already have the files. So I'm gonna overwrite the existing files and you can do the same if you get this warning. And now we have installed everything we need to, but we still have to set up our CMU emulator. So close down the zip archive and the installation folder, then open up your CMU emulator. From here go to options in the top menu and click on our new option Gamepad Motion Source. Then go to DSU1 and here you should check the Buy Slot option. And the last thing you should do is to make sure that Wii U Gamepad is the emulated controller set under the input settings. And once you have done those steps, native gyro will finally work in your Wii U games just as if they were played on your OG Wii U console. And as a final tip, I just want to mention that when you're going to play Wii U games, you should always leave your Steam Deck on a flat surface while starting the game. If you do, the gyro will be calibrated just as if it were played on the original console. I hope this guide helped you and that you can let me know by either leaving a like or a comment. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more content like this. And with that said, catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.